During Operation Herrick in Afghanistan in 2013, the British Brigade Reconnaissance Force at Camp Bastion had a secret advantage over the Taliban, and it fit in the palm of their hands. The Black Hornet Nano Unmanned Air Vehicle was designed by Prox Dynamics to provide support for individual soldiers and squads on the ground, and it revolutionized the way the British approached the conflict. The tiny undetectable helicopter was able to execute reconnaissance missions and provided situational awareness and safety for the troops, who could then plan accordingly. With the Norwegian-made drone, the soldiers could tell terrorists apart from local civilians with ease and find weapon warehouses. Remarkably, the micro UAV could zoom into someone's face and hold still until the suspect was identified, and the person would never know the Black Hornet was even there. Power to go. Prox Dynamics is a Norwegian technological firm based in Oscar. Founded in 2007, the company set out to, quote, develop, produce, and sell the world's smallest and most advanced personal reconnaissance system, or PRS, and they succeeded. The PD-100 Black Hornet is a nano unmanned air vehicle that does not exceed four by one inches, roughly the size of a child's toy. The drone was especially designed to fit in one hand and weighs just over half an ounce, including batteries. The project was part of a 20 million pound contract for 160 units with Marlboro Communications Limited in Surrey, England. As the developer stated on its website, quote, we create innovative solutions to complex problems based on modern microelectronics, new sensor technology, creative mechanical design, and efficient low-cost production techniques. We work closely with industry-leading partners and a broad customer base to deliver optimal and functional products that meet operators' needs. The drone's primary purpose is to provide ISR support, or intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance to armed forces, particularly in sensitive and mission-critical operations. But above all, the micro-military UAD aims to save the lives of frontline soldiers, both in its active combat role or in search and rescue operations in complex scenarios, as well as protect civilians in war-torn areas. As a PRS, the Black Hornet provides non-specialist dismounted soldiers with immediate covert situational awareness, and the compact drone serves as a bridge between aerial and ground-based sensors, featuring the most advanced EQ and IR technology. In addition, the Black Hornet has game-changing innovations that include the same SA as larger UAVs and threat location capabilities for unmanned ground vehicles. Moreover, the tiny rotorcraft is not only light, but nearly silent, with a top speed of 13 miles per hour. Also, its flight time reaches 25 minutes while transmitting real-time full-motion video and HD still images back to the operator. Notably, an operator can be trained to handle the Black Hornet in merely 20 minutes. Zoom in. A squad-level technological platform, the Black Hornet provides immediate covert situational awareness to minimize collateral damage, and it can discern and identify threats while remaining undetected. Plus, it increases its unit's speed and expands maneuver options. The Nano Drone also shows extraordinarily low visual and audible signatures as a covert airborne sensor due to its quiet electric motors. And it extends visual range in complex and urban environments, enabling dismounted soldiers to rapidly engage targets beyond visual line of sight and conduct real-time weapon effectiveness assessments. The micro-aerial vehicle comes with a set of three cameras. The first is looking forward, the second straight down, and the third is angled in between at 45 degrees. The footage is then sent to a handheld terminal where it can be displayed and analyzed while giving the operator full control over the vehicle. Remarkably, the device does not store any data, an advantage in case of capture. Instead, the footage is stored directly on the handheld device. In addition, the UAV can be manually steered by the operator or fly itself when given fixed waypoints. Provided with reliable imagery, 
Soldiers can peer around corners or over walls and various obstacles and identify hidden threats which might endanger ground personnel. Meanwhile, the drone remains connected to the operator at all times through GPS and is controlled with a joystick. The Black Hornet set contains two identical drones, synchronized in terms of charging time and hovering time. 25 minutes is simultaneously the time it needs to reach 90% battery charge and its deployment time. As such, one of the pair can be recharged while the other is out in the field. The combat-proven, pocket-sized, revolutionary system can be easily transported on patrol and is capable of performing in harsh environments and challenging weather conditions. Plus, it is launched from a compact box that can be comfortably strapped to a utility belt. Deployment Perfectly designed to blend in with the muddy gray walls of Afghanistan, the Black Hornet first saw use with the UK's Brigade Reconnaissance Force at Camp Bastion during Operation Herrick. British troops were the first to use the state-of-the-art nano-surveillance drones with 324 examples in service as of October 2013. Sergeant Christopher Petherbridge detailed at the time, quote, Black Hornet is definitely adding value, especially considering the lightweight nature of it. We use it to look for insurgent firing points and check out exposed areas of the ground before crossing, which is a real asset. It's very easy to operate and offers amazing capability to the guys on the ground. The tiny remote control helicopter played a vital role in the fight against the Taliban and gave British soldiers an edge over the terrorists. Major Adam Foden noted, quote, Black Hornet is a game-changing piece of kit. Previously, we would have had to send soldiers forward to see if there were any enemy fighters hiding inside a set of buildings. Now we are deploying Black Hornet to look inside compounds and to clear a route through enemy-held spaces. It has worked very well, and the pictures it delivers back to the monitor are really clear, and Black Hornet is so small and quiet that the locals can't see or hear it. Likewise, the U.S. Army sought a capable nano-UAV for individual squads as part of the Soldier Born Sensors, or SBS, program. Then, after looking at commercially viable small-scale drones for the Cargo Pocket Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance program, the Natick Soldier Research, Development, and Engineering Center selected the PD-100. However, the existing UAV required refinements for its future role in the U.S. Army, including changes in the data link configuration, night vision capabilities, and improved navigation. In late 2014, Prox Dynamics unveiled a night vision version of the Black Hornet. The new model was fitted with long-wave infrared video sensors, on top of the daylight-capable ones, which could transmit video streams of high-resolution photographs through a data link at a maximum range of one mile. The new model was trialed with American troops at an event the following year, and in June, the manufacturer delivered an enhanced miniature helicopter for Special Forces. The U.S. Marine Corps Special Operations teams deployed the Black Hornet that same year, but at $195,000 per individually handmade unit, the drone was considered too expensive for large-scale deployment. In contrast, British Minister for Defense Equipment, Support and Technology, Philip Dunn, stated, quote, Intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance systems are a key component in our 10-year equipment plan, and now that we have balanced the defense budget, we're able to confidently invest in these kinds of cutting-edge technologies. Still, the Black Hornet was slowly withdrawn from service in Afghanistan through 2016 and 2017, but the sophisticated miniature helicopter kept conquering the international market. FLIR Systems acquired Prox Dynamics in 2016 for $134 million, and the Black Hornet has found its way into numerous armies across the world, including the United States, France, the United Kingdom, Germany, Australia, Turkey, Norway, the Netherlands, Poland, New Zealand, and India. Over 3,000 examples have been delivered to this day, and they are currently in use in 19 NATO allied nations. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and leave us a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels for more information on current and future military developments. Stay tuned for more.